Hi, my name is Farah and I'm an assistant professor and emerging scholar at NYU Abu Dhabi. Today I'll be presenting to you our short paper presented in middle 2021, an AI system for predicting the deterioration of COVID-19 patients in the emergency department. Before I go into the details of our project, I'd first like to present some background motivation. As of yesterday, there are approximately 181 million confirmed COVID-19 cases, including 3.92 million deaths. This shows the first um, wave in New York, and we approximately started working on this project in mid to late March. So hospitals in particular have been severely affected by the pandemic. Um, it has specifically strained resources globally, especially in the emergency department. So when a patient arrives to the emergency department, they would arrive with symptoms of fever, chest pain, or shortness of breath. These symptoms may be serious enough and require hospitalization in order to stabilize the condition. If the patient becomes seriously ill, then they need to be transferred to the ICU for intensive treatment. If the patient deteriorates further and their lungs collapse, then they may require to be intubated. And then eventually, respiratory dysfunction may become the principal source of morbidity and mortality as the disease advances. This is just an example of one patient, however, in reality, there's a surge of many patients arriving to the ED at the same time. Therefore, our goal in this project was that at the patient's arrival to the ED, we would like to predict the risk of deteriorating in the near future, and we were also interested in predicting how would this risk evolve over time. And we define deterioration as the occurrence of any of ICU admission, intubation, and mortality. Now to the details of our AI system. But before going there, this is an overview of the data that gets collected in the ED. This includes vital signs, chest x-rays, and laboratory test results. We decided to focus on chest x-ray images because they're considered um, as a primary tool of patient triage, especially during the pandemic, and they're cheap and easy to obtain. They also minimize the risk of infecting imaging suites compared to other imaging modalities, such as CT scans. So here's an overview of an AI system. We were using data collected at NYU Langone Health, and we developed three predictive models, two of which predicted the risk of deteriorating within 24 to 96 hours, and then the third predicting how, predicted how this risk would evolve over time, which is COVID GMIC DRC. This is an overview of our um, network. So this is the globally aware multiple instance classifier. This network has two desirable properties. First, it generates interpretable saliency maps that highlight regions in the chest x-ray that correlate with clinical deterioration. So these saliency maps are um, generated using our global module. And second, the network processes um, uh, high resolution information using its local module in a memory efficient manner. This avoids aggressive downsampling of the input image which is a technique that's commonly used on natural images. And as you can see here, eventually, the fusion module combines both global and local information in order to compute the final prediction. And shown here in the bottom of the slide is the overall loss function of the model. So now I'm going to highlight the key results of our work. So first, um, we built a, a multimodal model through a late fusion approach, which combined the predictions of COVID GMIC, the neural network that processes chest X-ray images, which I just presented, and COVID GBM, which is a gradient boosting model that learns from routinely collected clinical data, such as vital signs or laboratory test results. So despite this sort of vanilla approach of combining the predictions of both models, the multimodal uh, approach improved performance across all time windows in terms of AUC and PR AUC compared to the um, models that we're learning from single modalities. This highlights that further work should go into improving the multimodal fusion approach and ensures that the um, different modalities do actually contain complementary information, despite the fact that pre-COVID-19, most deterioration prediction scores relied on only clinical variables rather than just x-ray imaging. Um, in terms of interpretability, this is an example um, which has, of a patient that has diffuse airspace opacities, and the C map does indeed highlight areas that correlate with abnormalities um, based on the assessment of our collaborating radiologists. 
The um, model also computes those ROI patches and assigns attention scores um, to highlight their relative importance. We also compared our model to two radiologists with, who had two varying um, years of experience. And even though the radiologists have limited capacity to look at just X-ray images and make a prediction, their performance is still comparable to the performance of our network. Further work needs to go into comparing um, AI systems for chest X-ray processing uh, with a larger number of radiologists. Finally, these are the deterioration risk curves that were computed by our AI system, um, and the model was reasonably calibrated. So, in, to conclude, chest radiographs are useful for prognostic tasks. They also contain useful information highlighting the potential of multimodal learning. And for future work, we're interested in assessing the generalizability of our network. Thank you for listening, and I'm happy to answer any question, questions in the discussion session.